SMT Nation, we back. We've got an interesting video here for you today. I want to offer you some commentary on what I'm seeing in the industry. Two industries. Well, they're kind of sort of connected. Usually when we talk about connectivity, there's the mobile side, right? Wireless networks, mobile networks. And then there's the home internet networking. Both, I think, are very important to our channel. A lot of people that are subscribed here, viewers, subscribers, commenters, care about both segments of that connectivity world. All right, now, fresh off the heels of T-Mobile announcing a promotion specifically targeting Comcast, right? Trying to get more home internet customers. I felt compelled to make this video and offer this commentary. So here goes. What we've been seeing T-Mobile do since the T-Mobile and Sprint merger has, take, has taken the assets from the merger and use it as ammunition to come in and disrupt and become more of a market leader than a market responder. Something that telecom has always been, has been an industry of followers. Nobody leading, nobody innovating. T-Mobile is different. T-Mobile is different under John Leisure. And I can, dare I say, it's different under Mike Sievert. This may become a Mike Sievert special here. All right, so I want to put some respect on his name. This is important here. Since the merger with these tools and with things stabilizing post-merger, the network improvement, the coverage expansion, the Sprint integration, the capacity that's been created, T-Mobile has done a really, really nice job to be disruptive in the mobile network space as well as in the home ISP space. So here's how T-Mobile stacks up. In the mobile network offers, nobody beats T-Mobile when it comes to traditional mobile network operators. Cable offers some, some pretty good pricing too for wireless plans, but if we just look at the big three, T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T, nobody offers more value than T-Mobile. They give you the most as a customer for your dollars. They give people free lines. They give people the best plans. They offer them the best rate for said plans. And you get a lot with those plans, right? You just, they got Netflix on us. They got T-Mobile Tuesdays. And, and you can argue whether or not you care about some of those things, but they also have the best plan in the game in the Magenta Max, right? Arguably one of the best plans in the game. So that's just, how does that stack up with Verizon and AT&T? T-Mobile's better in that respect, right? And then if you're willing to uptake to the Magenta Max, they offer great promotions for devices, right? So with that out of the way, where does T-Mobile stack in the home internet space? Well, they're kind of sort of single-handedly wrecking cable. For like the first time in forever, cable's going to have a down year. Coming off of huge wins during the pandemic, Cable's taking a back seat, and as a net, Cable Town, or you look at Comcast and Charter with Spectrum and Xfinity, they have losses, like, basically the last couple of quarters. And I don't know if that's going to continue or when it's going to stop, but it's the responsibility lies at T-Mobile. It's them. They're adding five, six, seven 700,000 customers in fixed wireless access. They're 5G home every quarter. So they're, they're winning against big cable. They're winning against mobile network operators. Wherever T-Mobile goes, they compete and take share. And they're doing so by organically being competitive. They're not doing anything super special. They're just beating people in the things that customers hate, right? They're taking what cable does horribly that customers hate, and they're targeting that. Balloon pricing, explosive pricing. T-Mobile doesn't do that. Our home internet's 50 bucks. Here it is, right? Put on auto pay, that's your price. 25 bucks if you're a Magenta Max customer. Deals, value, right? And then from the mobile space, right? Deals and value, right? And they've been doing that. That, that goes back a long time. And now with their network getting larger and becoming more competent, competitive, we're starting to see things a little bit differently in the marketplace. I'm not saying that the T-Mobile network is better than AT&T's or Verizon's, but people are taking it over AT&T's and Verizon's because of pricing and maybe saying that the network is good enough for me. 
and I'll take the value in the savings. So T-Mobile's, they're pushing all the right buttons. Mike Sievert is doing a wonderful job with respect to those things. So their promotions, their competitive nature has reshaped two industries in essentially the last two years. I think we have to start putting some respect on the CEO of T-Mobile, Mike Sievert. We've got to start putting some respect on his name. He's pretty much hit every mark, right? He's pretty much done all the right things. Now, there's some things that I question, right? Like I, I have concerns about the network. They are growing really, really fast. And they've got growing fixed wireless demand and all those things. I think, I think we need to see a national focus on 10 gig backhaul fiber circuits, right? To really create true capacity since it is a multi-purpose network. Like there's things from the network side that we can kind of poke at and pry and dig and, you know, sift through with a fine comb. But man, this, he is hitting his mark and he's doing it actually the same way that John Ledger did. Maybe not to the same scale, right? But he's doing the same thing. He's taking what the other companies do that are bad, and he does the opposite. So all the things that customers hate, he's saying, well, we'll make it better. Give us your business. Here's what we're doing that's consumer friendly. Let's do business. And in the process, right, they try to get you on upsells, and they've done a couple things to try to become more profitable. And maybe some customers don't appreciate those things, but it's a business. At the end of the day, they've got to make profits. It's a game of margins, right? And they want to make money. Nobody's opening their doors to work for free. They've got shareholders, right? They've got payroll and all those things. But man, can I mean, we got to call a spade a spade here. He's hitting his mark, right? They're going to be taking share in rural America now. They're going to be taking share in businesses and small business, medium-sized businesses. They're taking some big businesses, trying to get involved in enterprise, I mean, things, things are on the up and up for T-Mobile. They're, they're hitting their mark in a lot of different ways. A lot of positive momentum. Their marketing, A+. Plus. Their retail, A+. Plus. Their home internet growth, A+. Plus. Their mobile growth, A+. Plus. A lot of A-pluses here, right? Their network, you know, that's going to be regional <laughs> in some places, A+. Plus, in some places, F+. Right, like any mobile network, you know, just being fair and objective here, calling a spade a spade. You know, could they use more generators on sites? Could they use higher backhaul? Of course. Absolutely. Could they use could they use some enhanced reliability investment? Absolutely. But we have to look at it from totality. They really are hitting their mark. They've disrupted two industries. I don't think that's really arguable, folks. But what do you guys think here? As we round out 2022, how do we evaluate and assess T Mobile? I think, in a very, very positive note. That's my take. What do you think? Offer your rebuttal. If there's something you agree or disagree with, I'd love to hear what you have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to my YouTube members as well as my Patreon supporters. Y'all are the GOATs. And additionally, words of positivity for you as we head out today. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.